Hey everybody, welcome back to NetTut. Today, rather than going over some kind of coding concept or technique, we're going to take a look at two Chrome extensions that I think all web developers need to have installed. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is StyleBot, and this is a cool one. At first, I thought it was simply a, a copycat of maybe something like Firebug or the Web Developer Toolbar by Chris Pedrick, but no, it's actually cool because it remembers the stylings that you, you make. So we're going to use Use a popular website, IGN.com, uh, for the basis of this. So once the extension has been installed, and you can do it right here, or just Google uh, StyleBot extension, you'll get this little tab here in the top right corner. So if you click on it, it'll bring this tool, and again, it looks like the Web Developer Toolbar, but what's cool is even upon subsequent page refreshes, it's going to remember the changes you make. Even outside of working on your own sites, uh, you can do this to style uh, the websites you visit. So for example, uh, IGN is really flash heavy for their advertising. So I can just click here, and let's say I want to get rid of anything like this they have. I can click on it and then come down and just hide that. And now I never have to load that flash again. And then if we go to advanced section, you can see the styling that was applied, or you can even go to the edit CSS area and you see it'll uh, dynamically create that for you. So why don't we do a little bit more here? Uh, come back, go back to the basic tab, and maybe I don't participate in this, so I don't need that to load. Let's see what else, if I can find the wrapper, there it is. Hide that. Uh, I never go to this section, so I'll hide that. And you can see how quickly you can begin uh, tailoring what you do. So let's do a little bit more. I don't use the search functionality on this website, so I'll get rid of that and hide it. And then, of course, you can play around if you want a, a wider width or you want the font size to be a little bit larger by default. And uh, that's fine. So then you can use that to remove all bits of flash that you don't want to load or, or anything you don't want to load. So let's do that and hide that. And again, if I go back to edit CSS, it has everything. So if I was working on my own site, I could then copy that and paste that in. Or I personally use this uh, just for tailoring the websites I visit the most. And so what you'll see here is even when I close this out, and I load it back up again, you'll see that it'll remember that because it's attached. So that's a really nice way to tailor the sites that you visit uh, just to make them cleaner and not as, as muddy. Uh, the next one is uh, particularly, particularly for the Vim users, but I think everyone could take advantage of this. So what Vimium is, is it's a Chrome extension that provides support for the popular Vim keyboard shortcuts. So if you are a Vim user, you'll know things like uh, pressing J to go down, K to go up, GG will go to the top, and capital G will go to the bottom. You learn all of these different little shortcuts, and it seems like it takes a long time to learn them at first, but then once you do, I can promise you, you begin to rely on them. So this brings that support to Chrome, and there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So for example, let's say I'm on NetTouch. Uh, with this extension installed, again, just search for Vimium. Uh, with this extension installed, I don't have to use the mouse nearly as much as I normally do. So to scroll down, I hit the letter J. Okay. If I want to uh, go down in steps, I would do D, and that's for like a half a page or a full page down, and U to go up. Uh, of course, if you forget it, you can press the question mark, and it'll show you everything that's available. But the stuff I like is how you can uh, go to links really easily. So I'm not touching my mouse. I'm going to scroll down here, and let's say I want to go to Canvas from scratch. I hit the letter F, and that means like forward. And now you'll see every clickable link now has two letters next to it. And those are the letters that you press to load that link. And I can always press escape to go out. So if I hit F and I want to go to Canvas from scratch, you can see right here, SC. All I have to do is type that. And now that's going to load the page, and I'm never having to touch my mouse. So I promise you begin to rely on this. So let's say I want to go to in the previous article that you can see right here. All right, I would hit F, SD, and I'm done. Pretty neat. Uh, you can also just do quick shortcuts. Like if I want to go to the source, I hit GS, go to source, GS. And now that immediately loads the source for me. Um, again, if we hit the question mark, this will bring up all the options that are available to you. So even simple things like capital K will go to the next tab, capital J will go to the previous tab. And then of course you can use the built-in things like um, on the Mac, command one, command two, etc. Now if I want to do things like uh, create a new tab, of course you can do command T or control T, but you can also just press the letter T and that'll do that just fine. If I want to zoom in to a section, I can hit ZI, zoom in. 
And then another one would be search. So if I'm used to maybe pressing Control or Command F to search for something, uh, instead you would do it the Vim way where you press forward slash and that moves you into search mode. And then at this point I can begin typing what I want to search for and you see that it begins to show up there. And then at that point I can press N to go to the next occurrence of each one. So a lot of times you can you can already achieve these these functionalities natively in the browser, but it brings more of a Vim nature to it so that you're not always having to reach for the mouse, scroll up. When all you want to do is click on a link, all you do is F, SW, and then I'm immediately going to the author page. So the two extensions are Vimium and Stylebot, and I highly recommend you install them. For more tips, techniques, and tutorials, be sure to always subscribe or follow us on Twitter at InvatoWebDev. I'll see you guys later. Bye.